think it's safe to say, and we've all realised this, haven't we, that Meghan Markle likes one thing. I'm talking to you. You've not nodded off already, have you? Yes. <laughs> How dare you? We've just got going on this beautiful, blistering day. Yes, you know, we know that Megan, don't we? She likes doing one thing, and that is grabbing the microphone. We saw that at that debacle with Kevin Costner, which was an absolute shambles, wasn't it? When you think anybody else would have been embarrassed, but clearly, no, not Megan Markle. Now, as you know, over here in the United Kingdom, in a few days' time, we will see the return once again of the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. He's finally agreed to turn up for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, a big event celebrating 10 years, and I would hope that he may actually acknowledge his elder brother, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, for all he's also done for this, and also the Duke of Edinburgh, who was very instrumental in the original idea. That is, of course, Prince Philip, not Prince Edward. You know, a lot of people forget just what the background work that Prince Philip did. And let's not also forget His Majesty the King. Everybody's helped Harry along the way to get where he is with this particular game plan. But it's interesting to note because he is turning up alone. And apparently there were two invites issued, but there was another problem as ever. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today. I hope you're all right. Yes, are you all right? Are you keep it all right. I'm just, I'm just getting this is a bit more green, isn't it? A bit nicer. Yes, I know. Well, better things to look at, aren't they? Who wants to, you know, I can see you putting the cushion over your face, just leaving audio on. Who needs to look at me? You know what I mean? But seriously, thank you for your lovely comments about our recent matinee uh, on Sunday. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I know the end was gripping. If you haven't seen it, this is what I often say about these films. No CGI, no background green screen, just brilliant acting and better still, a better penned storyline. Mm. Could you pen a better storyline for the Evictus Games 10th anniversary? Prince Harry's back and as we saw earlier this year when he and Meghan rocked up to Canada in February, it was once again seemingly all about her. She turned up late and of course you know she was busy with the school run and burgers and ice creams and everything. Focus me basically was the plot, wasn't it? And it's interesting to note that Meghan was never shy in standing in front of all of those veterans and leading the march, which was a lot of people, uh, shall we say, stunned by that. Not more so many of the inner circle of the Invictus plan, as it were, being discussed now, as you can imagine, the inner circle. They didn't like that at all. And we told you recently about how Harry and Meghan have literally hijacked this event, and it was never about them. It was never about the royal family. It was that they were going to help assist. That was the idea. Harry's going to be doing a reading at St. Paul's Cathedral, but apparently, apparently, uh, you know, Megan thought she might be invited up too. And let me just put it bluntly, no speech, no microphone, clearly no Megan. If there had been on offer of a speech, she would have been over here faster than a designer heels could carry her. Anybody like Megan, trust me, loves the spotlight, loves to give a speech to empower people, to invigorate people. We've seen it time and time again, even on that recent trip to New York where she looked like Dr. Shivago in the white outfit. Once again, Harry was the second fiddle. I'm kind of pleased he's coming alone. I'm kind of pleased that he's going to be doing a speech, at least has acknowledged some level of responsibility. Let's hope it's not all about publicity for him. And as I point out, it really should have a huge thank you to his elder brother and other senior members of the British monarchy. And for this point at least, Meghan seemingly had an invite, but as I say, no speechy, no Meghan. When will Harry actually wake up to this particular point? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.